Edvotech Tips How to Read Product Labels and Safety Data Sheets. In March 2012, the United States Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, adopted the Globally Harmonized System of Classification and Labeling of Chemicals, or GHS. This agreement standardized the way that companies around the world communicate information about chemical hazards from their products. The GHS provides guidelines on how companies classify a chemical's physical, environmental, and health hazards. It also defines a system to guide manufacturers on effective communication regarding these chemical hazards and ways to advise users on safe handling. This hazard reporting system applies not only to companies like Edvotech, but also to companies producing pharmaceuticals, chemicals, pesticides, and cleaning supplies. The target audiences for GHS include production workers, lab workers, emergency responders, and consumers. Safety data sheets and product labels provide the detailed information we need to safely handle chemicals in the laboratory. Each resource includes standardized signal words, pictograms, and precautionary statements. These simplified documents help reduce confusion and ensure that products are used in a safe manner. For example, the labels are commonly found on household chemicals like this stainless steel cleaner. They serve as a warning to the user to be careful. In this video, we'll explain the importance of these changes and the benefits of the new SDS and product labels. One key component of the GHS is pictograms, which are graphics that convey a message through symbols. These universal images that eliminate language barriers make for fast, efficient communication. For example, when we see a red circle with a line through it, we know that that means no, N-O. For chemicals, each pictogram represents a potential hazard. For example, the flames mean a chemical is flammable, and the skull and crossbones mean something is toxic. Both SDSs and product labels use pictograms to quickly communicate a product's potential hazards. No words needed. So if we take a look at this label for N-propyl alcohol, we see three pictograms, irritant, flammable, and corrosive. The chemical abstract service number allows us to quickly research more information on the chemical if necessary. We also see the manufacturer's address, contact information, and lot number in case further follow-up is needed. Safety data sheets are comprehensive written documents that communicate the hazards associated with each product in depth. Each section of the SDS explains the hazards of the chemical products in a clear and concise manner. Section 1 includes identifying information for the chemical and the manufacturer. This includes the chemical's name and product number, and the manufacturer's name, address, and phone number. There is important information in Section 2. This part highlights all hazards regarding the chemical. This includes signal words, pictograms, and hazard statements. Section 3 includes information on chemical ingredients, including the chemical name, the common name, and the chemical abstract service, or case number. For mixtures, this section provides information for all chemicals, along with the relative percentages. Manufacturers can protect chemical formulations that are trade secrets, but they must still declare hazards and concentrations. If you have an unexpected exposure to the chemical, you'll want to refer to Section 4, First Aid Measures. This section covers important symptoms and effects, both acute and delayed, and the required treatment. Section 5, Firefighting Measures, details any potential chemical hazards from fire and lists suitable fire extinguishing techniques and equipment. If you spilled a chemical and wanted to know how to clean it up, you would refer to Section 6, Accidental Release Measures. This section details emergency procedures, proper personal protective equipment, or PPE, and the necessary protocol for containment and cleanup. After receiving your chemicals, you'll need to know how to store them. Section 7, Handling and Storage, describes safe handling and storage, including incompatibilities with other chemicals. Section 8 describes exposure limits, threshold limit values, and any other exposure limits used or recommended by the manufacturer preparing the SDS. 
This section also includes appropriate engineering controls and PPE. The next part, section 9, describes the physical and chemical properties associated with the product. This includes appearance, odor, pH, solubility, and more if available. If you need more information about a chemical stability and possibility of hazardous reactions, you'll refer to section 10. This section describes how chemicals react when stored and when mixed with other chemicals. Section 11 provides information about a chemical's toxicology or the effects of the chemical on living creatures. This includes the routes of exposure, a description of symptoms, both acute and chronic, and numerical measures of toxicity like LD50 and LC50. If you're wondering about a chemical's effect on the environment, that information is listed in section 12. Most times, however, this refers to very large quantities, like a tank or a barrel. It's always important to know how to properly discard your chemicals. Section 13 outlines general considerations for disposal. However, it is very important to discuss this with your chemical hygiene officer to make sure that you're following state and local guidelines. Most of the information in Section 14, Transportation Information, will be used by suppliers as they ship products via air, land, or sea. If there is additional safety, health, or environmental regulations for a product that is not mentioned in any other section, it will be noted in Section 15, Regulatory Information. The final section of the SDS comprises any additional information, including the date of preparation or last revision, and any disclaimers. At Edvotech, we are proud to provide safe, quality experiments for your teaching laboratory. Through our improved materials, Edvotech is enhancing our customers' understanding of product hazards by providing improved access to safety information. We hope you enjoy teaching and learning with Edvotech.